In this video, we are going to talk about psychological facts about relationships. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Love is beautiful, tragic, delicious, and horrible. True love is a powerful force. Our lives are dependent on it, and it frequently appears as though the world would cease spinning if love did not exist. We both strive for and lament the loss of endless love. If you've never been injured, you're either very lucky or very lonely, a lovesick panda once stated. We understand heart poetry, but as we go through life, we tend to demystify this priceless sensation more and more. We learn about biological processes that generate specific reactions, societal effects on how we behave and think about love, psychological facts about love, and physiological mechanisms that cause us to fall in love with someone. And just when we think there's no place for romance in a world described by science, we fall in love, or just look into the eyes of our loved one, and all of that knowledge fades away. In the end, it's the sensation itself that counts. Here's a list of the psychological facts about relationships, let's start. Love does hurt. Love can be painful at times, and being heartbroken is a real feeling, not just a feeling in your imagination. Broken heart syndrome is known as Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Broken heart syndrome is defined as a weakening of the heart's main pumping chamber as a result of significant emotional or physical stress, such as the death of a loved one or a traumatic accident, according to the findings. It affects virtually exclusively women, and researchers are still trying to figure out why. A broken heart can cause death, however it is uncommon. The brain falls in love, not the heart. Many individuals have debated whether it is the intellect or the heart that falls in love. People feel it is ultimately the brain, though the heart is linked, based on their findings. Activation in some sections of the brain can cause heart stimulation and stomach butterflies, some claim. Some symptoms that we think are coming from the heart could instead be coming from the brain. Love is similar to being high. You may have heard that falling in love is similar to being high, and this is somewhat true. According to one study, the brain of someone falling in love resembles the brain of someone who has used cocaine. In reality, exhilaration, cravings, withdrawal, and emotional and physical reliance are all indicators of substance addiction in persons in the early stages of a serious romantic relationship. According to the people, passionate love is a powerful, natural addiction. When a person falls in love, multiple areas of the brain are at work. The team of observers discovered that 12 parts of the brain work together to create euphoria-inducing chemicals that make people feel in love in many of their observations. Dopamine, oxytocin, adrenaline, and vasopressin are the hormones that cause a high when someone is bitten by the love bug. That love drug is also found in chocolate. When you fall in love, your brain releases phenylethylamine, sometimes known as love drug, a hormone. It is this hormone that causes partners to fall madly in love with one other. Chocolate contains phenylethylamine, which could explain why you can't stop eating it after just one bite. Being grateful can improve relationships. Everyone wants to be looked for and valued. Gratitude has also been shown to boost relationships in research. According to one study, couples who took the time to show thankfulness for their partner felt not just more positive toward each other, but also more comfortable discussing their marital difficulties. Love can make you sick. If you've ever heard someone describe themselves as lovesick, they could be onto something. According to Richard Schwartz, associate professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, however it hasn't been established that love makes you physically unwell, it does boost cortisol levels. Cortisol, a stress hormone, has been found to impair immune function, making you more susceptible to illness. Love can be a pain reliever. The researchers discovered that deep, passionate sensations of love can be utilized as a pain reliever, behaving similarly to illicit medications such as cocaine. Fifteen undergraduate students were asked to bring in images of their romantic relationship and photos of an acquaintance for observation. The individuals were then shown the images while having their hands zapped with a computer-controlled heat stimulator to create minor pain. They discovered that seeing images of their loved ones helped them to feel less discomfort. If you don't like needles and are going to donate blood, bring a photo of someone you care about with you. Being in love changes you. 
you should give credit to your partner if you find yourself watching romantic comedies when you used to just watch thrillers or if you suddenly enjoy Mexican food when you didn't previously. People in love frequently have various interests and personality traits after they enter into their separate relationships, according to a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. After falling in love, one of the study's authors stated that people had a more diversified sense of self and higher self-esteem. Being in love can decrease appetite. High quantities of dopamine and norepinephrine are released during the attraction phase of love. One of the happiness hormones is dopamine, and these molecules can make people feel cheerful or even euphoric. This reaction can also cause a loss of appetite and insomnia, meaning you can be so, in love, that you can't eat or sleep properly. Attachment isn't exclusive to romance. Attachment, as opposed to infatuation and desire, is the third type of love. It is related with feelings of comfort and nurturing. These aspects in long-term partnerships are powered by the hormones oxytocin and vasopressin. While lust and attraction are almost exclusively associated with romantic love, attachment can also be felt through friendships, parent-infant bonding, and even feelings for pets. Attraction is based on obsession. When one feels attracted, dopamine and norepinephrine are released, while estrogen and testosterone fuel passion. Humans display attraction in the brain areas that drive reward behavior, according to Fish's vast research. Brain scans of people in love showed the key reward areas of the brain lighting up when they were shown an image of someone they are extremely attracted to in a number of Fish's research. This helps to explain why love's attraction is founded on feelings of fixation, as well as why the early stages of a romantic relationship can be thrilling. Lust is different than love. The need to reproduce is the evolutionary root for lust. Lust is fueled by the sex hormones testosterone and estrogen, which are distinct from attraction and connection. This is why one-night stands and hot hookups don't always lead to long-term commitment. It gets complex, though, because lust and passion are still elements of long-term love. Love is actually three feelings in one. Love is complicated and inexplicable for a reason. It's essentially three feelings rolled into one. Romantic love, according to a group of scientists led by prominent biological anthropologist Helen Fisher, may be divided into three feelings, lust, attraction, and attachment. And each emotion is defined by its own set of hormones produced by the brain. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.